Hey there, Matt here with the Google Workspace team. And today I'm gonna to show you how you can take advantage of the top storage management tools available in the Google Admin Console. Let's get started. Starting from the Admin Console homepage, you'll be able to find a new category called Storage from the main page or menu. Click Storage to get to your storage summary. This is your new storage landing page. This page is a summary of how your group, team, or organization is using storage across Google Workspace products. Workspace uses pooled storage, or simply, storage that each member of your group, team, or organization shares with one another by default. The first thing to notice on this landing page is your Workspace storage summary. Here you can see how much storage everyone is using across all Workspace products, and how much is left based on your Workspace subscription and number of users. From here, there are categories for each product. For example, Google Drive, Photos, and Gmail. You can hover over each of these product categories to see a detailed breakdown of how much storage everyone is using and how much remains. Your total storage amount is calculated by your subscription and how many users are on your subscription. This number is the maximum amount of storage all of your users combined can use, also known as the organization storage limit. Below your storage summary, there are three cards. The first, storage settings, is how you manage storage limits across your workspace. We'll dig into that in a moment. Next to that is users using the most storage. Here, you'll get a snapshot of who's using the most storage in your workspace. You can click on a user's name to navigate to their user detail page and get a breakdown of how much storage they're using. Please note, for privacy, an admin will never be able to see a user's individual documents, just a summary of how much storage their documents and files are using. The third is shared drives using the most storage. This works in a similar manner to the previous, but allows admins to manage storage usage in shared drives across their organization. We'll talk more about this later in the video. Let's click on Manage under Storage Settings. By default, you'll see the storage limit settings for your entire organization. You can change this view on the left under Organizational Units. Under Storage Use and Settings, you can adjust user storage limits. By default, this setting is turned off. This means that everyone in your workspace won't have storage limit indicators in any workspace products. However, your pooled storage limit will always apply. By turning this limit on, you'll be able to specify how much storage each person in an organizational unit will have, also known as the individual storage limit. Because we have our root organizational unit selected, by turning on this 10 gigabyte storage limit, all users in my Google Workspace will have a 10 gigabyte individual storage limit. You can take this approach and modify storage limits for different groups and organizational units. So if I instead wanted to have members of the marketing organizational unit to have more storage, I can add an individual storage limit of 20 gigabytes for all users in this specific organizational unit. This storage limit will then override the base storage limit of 10 gigabytes for members of this organizational unit to 20 gigabytes. Additionally, we can also add individual storage limits to groups. For example, within the marketing organizational unit, I have a few photographers who need more storage than other users. In this case, I have a group named Photographers already created. So I'll turn on a storage limit of 500 gigabytes to this group. Now anyone in or added to this group will automatically inherit a 500 gigabyte storage limit. The group names I used are just examples. You can apply this methodology to override and give anyone more or less storage. Group storage limits will always override organizational storage limits, and you can arrange which groups override each other via group settings. Now that we have applied storage limits, let's take a look at our user directory. Here you'll see that there are new columns named storage used and storage limit. If you don't see these, you can toggle the view for these columns under the settings icon in the top right hand corner of the table. Take notice of which users are approaching or may have already reached their limit. Let's take a look at a specific user. At the top of the user detail page is a breakdown of how this specific user is utilizing storage across workspace. And like before, I can examine the categories to understand how much they are using by product. Additionally, I can see where this user is inheriting their storage limit. In this case, it's from the root organizational unit. This user is actually a photographer, so I'm going to add them to the photography group so that their storage limit is increased to 500 gigabytes and can utilize more storage as necessary. Moving over to managing shared drives, from the storage landing page, we can navigate to all shared drives by clicking view all shared drives. Here we'll see shared drives arranged by storage used from most to least. Similar to user specific documents and files, admins can never see the files in a shared drive unless that drive or file has been shared with them specifically. Should you wanna free up space, admins can delete a shared drive directly from this page by mousing over the desired shared drive, clicking the more option and selecting delete shared drive. Please note that this action is permanent and should only be used when absolutely necessary. In this video, we demonstrated some of the top features for managing your Google Workspace storage. For more information on managing storage, visit the Google Workspace Admin Help Center.